Hey guys, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. Happy Friday, TGIF guys. <laughs> I almost spelled it wrong. <laughs> Thank goodness it is Friday. Okay, and I had to, I needed to get a little extra sleep today. I was still super tired when my alarm went off and I am driving up to my cabin today. Yeah, I'm, I am actually doing it, I know. Um, I'm so torn, but... I do need to go. Um, so I'm going to go up there. I'm going to have a few days of rest and relaxation and paint some stuff for my craft show that's coming up in the summer because it'll be here before I know it. <laughs> so anyways, I just needed to sleep because I'm going to be driving for like three hours later today. So sorry about that, guys. Um, I got a little bit of a late start, but we have a, our project today is not that long. Um, the gluing process is probably the longest part. We're making cute little houses. They're called shaker houses. Anybody know why they're called shaker houses? I was going to look and see. Anybody know? Why are they called shaker houses? Um, if you're out there watching and you know, let me know. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it really quickly. Why are why do they call them shaker houses? Um, I don't even know. Shaker house. Um, I don't know. Anybody know why? <laughs> What is a shaker house? Okay, um, a shaker style of architecture um, characterized by simplicity, utility, and craftsmanship. The shaker's sense of order and neatness is reflected in their work, it's clean lines, and lack of ornamentation. Oh, okay, so a basic house. Um, that's what it says. That, that's what I found. So they're, they're kind of a primitive style. But um, it's, it's going to be super cute. Goes with our goes with our other little collections. Goes with the kitchen collection. And then I'm going to be doing the tiered tray one this weekend. Um, and the little shaker box. Okay. So I know a bunch of you guys have already bought the shaker box. And it's a little confusing. It was, I, ha I had to really think about it last night. How to put it together. So what I'll do is I'll have everything painted. So we can focus on the assembly part. I'll do that up in my cabin. I'm taking that with me. I have a few projects to take with me. Um, most likely I'll drive back on Monday because um, I'll just want an extra day and I'll drive back after my Facebook live Monday morning. It's a lot easier to just wait until traffic has kind of died down. So, so I'm heading up today, this afternoon before noon. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying really hard to get out of here before noon. I have some paperwork to do. I, I got all my projects ready. Yay. Usually I'm like scrambling to get this stuff ready. I have all my stuff ready to go into my truck. I need to take a few things out of my truck. I still have all my posters in there from when I went down last weekend to put them out for, for Chloe. So they're still in my truck and no new news on that, but um, we're working on it. You know, I just have to trust the process. Okay. So I have to trust the process on how that's going to go. Um, I don't feel like I need to run down there this weekend. I, I, I just, I have to go with my gut feeling. I feel like I need to give this city um, some time to find her for me. Okay, there's people out there that are, I, I saw one guy post, he goes, I just need to take the whole day off to find her. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, take the day off from work and find her. I will, I will gladly pay you the $5,000 reward. <laughs> Anyways, sorry I'm late today. Life is just that way sometimes, I tell you. Um, I just was tired and I'm like, you know, if you're going to be driving later this afternoon, you need to get some extra rest. So there you go. And I might still have to pull over when I'm tired um, and I'm driving. I don't keep going. I know better because once upon a time um, coming home from a craft show when I was super tired, my head hit the steering wheel and I was only they always say it happens close to your house. It does. It I was off the freeway. Thank goodness I was off the freeway. And like half a block off the freeway and about um, three miles from my house. And it happened. Yeah, not fun. So so I know when I'm tired, I just pull off the road and I'll take a little nap. And there was one time when traffic was just crawling, crawling, crawling. I had to pull off three times. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to go early. Anyways, welcome to my page. We're going to make these cute little houses. And if you're out there watching, say hello. So I know you are here because I know it's a later time. And let me just share it to VIP group. How's everybody doing? I know I should have done some more Chocotour stuff, but I really want to get these things done. I want to get this this group done. I'll probably take Chocotour with me, um, a project to do. And then um, 
Then Tuesday, Tuesday is launch day. You guys get to order on Tuesday. Are you excited? There's so much, there's so much there. So um, I'm here. Hi, hi, Carrie. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Betty. Good morning, Bridget. Hi, Karen Ross. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. Um, good morning, Cheryl. Hi, Stacy from Maryland. Hi, Deb, my sister. Thanks for the message. I know people are get concerned. <laughs> Because I'm usually right on time. Well, I'm usually not. I'm not going to say I'm right on time. I'm within like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm not right on time. It always happens that way. Um, I, I try to get on, be on time, but it's not. It's like 6.30ish, which ends up being 6.45ish. <laughs> and now it's like 7.40, but that's okay. Um, hi, hi, Darlene Barr. Hi, Audrey. If you need more of those boxes, they're still out on the porch. And I'll, do you need more? Um, let me know. I'll keep, I'll keep putting boxes out there for you. Um, Hi, Marilyn. You, ha you haven't been around. You know, it's okay. The replays are always there, my friend. <laughs> hey, Cindy, you're jealous. Oh, you know, the cabin, um, I would love to be able to stay up there full time. It's kind of hard to do my job from there, though. I can't do everything. So um, <laughs> you're tired of moving and pack packing is lot. It sure is, Audrey. Hi, Terry. Hi, Laura. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. Hi, Deborah. Oh, your grandson's watching with you. Awesome. What's your grandson's name? I'll say hi to him. <laughs> All right. So I have these cute little houses here. They're called shaker houses. And we're going to make, and they have a light at the back. So the, the windows are open. Sometimes they have shaker houses and they are solid. I think that would be fun too, to do solid ones for a sign. So maybe we'll do that and we'll put blessed on it or something like that. Um, you're good on boxes. You'll swing by and get the rest. Um Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to leave them out there. I'll tell my husband not to put them in the trash. Okay, so I'm not completely sure on my colors, but I'm thinking uh, alizarin crimson and then um, true okra. And I like aloe for that. So so these this is my color palette. I think, I think I like this color palette. Okay, now another color palette would be like dark, dark colors like burgundy, and um, I don't even know if I have it here, but I was looking, I was thinking another palette would be like burgundy, dark, dark and dark. Um, this could be another palette would be like dark, dark colors. Okay, so I'll probably do different ones. I just, I'm just going to start with this. Okay, so so there's not a lot of painting. Um, we do need to glue these together. This is where the, the little tea light, I did order some more tea lights. So if you order these houses, um, you you probably, if you've already ordered them, they didn't come with the tea lights. But I think what I'll do is I'll put an option to add the tea lights. Okay, so I did it. I did um, order some. So, um, but they're, they weren't included in it. But I think what I'll do is I will, I'll put an option to add them. They're about, they're about $2 a piece. So I can do that if, if somebody wants it. And then of course I have to charge more for shipping because <laughs> they don't ship flat. So um, if you're just ordering the houses, they'll ship flat. You can get these, usually you can get these little tea lights at the Dollar Tree or at um, your Walmart. So anyways, they're just battery operated. Okay, let's start painting and we'll glue this together. We'll get, let's get our little our little thing here. I know, aren't they so cute? Um, Daxton. Hi, Daxton. Let me go back up to myself so I can say hi. So, well, hi, Daxton. How are you? Thanks for watching. I hope you like this project. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's so cute. Such a cute name. I love that name. Um, these are fun, aren't they? I love I love the little houses. So I love I love primitive stuff, and and this would be super cute, chunky. But then it would be hard to cut the, um, it would be hard to cut out the windows. Okay, so if you did it chunky, you would just have the windows on there. So so that's an option if somebody wants to just do blocks, they could do blocks. Um, I just, <laughs> I stuck this part of it stuck to another thing, so I need to put one more piece of tape on here. And then we'll get started. Where's my tape? It's just one of those days. It's a hot mess Friday. <laughs> it's a hot mess Friday, guys. Hi, Judy Kirk. I am running late, girlfriend. I'm heading up to my cabin this afternoon, and I needed a little bit more sleep. You know, sometimes you just do. So, hey, Cindy, Coleman, Barkley, and um, did I say hi to everybody? <laughs> hey, hey, Vicky. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, my goodness, guys. Just... Cray cray day already. 
but I have all my projects ready. So I have a lot of projects. I'm, I need to do um, patriotic. I need to do summer. And these are so cute. I feel like I need to do like a, a big set. But I need to also do, I need to also do these on signs. Okay, are all the little windows going to fit? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see if I can get all the windows together on a row. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe all the tops are going to go up here. Or all the tops are going to be black. So those are going to be the same. And then maybe all the windows can go at the bottom. All the windows are going to be brown. Okay. The houses are going to be a different color. The doors will be different colored. Okay, so put those here. Here's the here's the doors. Okay, we have um, two stars and a heart. And then we have lots of windows. So windows are all gonna be brown. I gotta be really careful and not, not paint inside of those windows. These are so cute though. These are tea lights. Okay, so they're gonna have, we're gonna have a tea light. I'm gonna glue that together so that that can dry. Oh yeah, this is actually gonna be gonna be perfect. I need to cut out a bunch of these sets and take with me. What other colors should I make? I I just think I think that several of these would be fun. Let's glue these together first. This is where the tea light goes onto these. Um, you're gonna you're gonna go into your cabin and Julian. How fun! Nice, nice. Thanks, thanks, Judy. I will drive careful. Um, I that's why I needed a little bit extra sleep. That's why I'm all late. You know. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta do it. <laughs> I, I went, I went to get up. My alarm went off, and I'm like, no, you know, you need to be smart about this. <laughs> You're gonna be driving. Go back to sleep. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, I'm gonna line them up in a second. I'm just getting all the glue on. So I'm gonna glue it. I like to use Allen's tacky glue. That's what works best for me. I know I have all my paint colors ready to go to the cabin. <laughs> Lots of summery colors and some and all oops, and a jump. Of course it did. And um and all my patriotic stuff. So I love I love all the patriotic stuff. You know, people it's pretty crazy what they do. They decorate for every holiday around here. I don't know if they do that where you guys are, but patriotic stuff is pretty big because it's hard to find. It's hard to find. So okay. Press it down. All right. And there we go. Make sure they're even. So these will be glued on the back. Okay. So this will be glued on the back of it. I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun to kind of help me at the end with that. I'm going to bring this back down. Um, oh, pastel colors. Oh, yeah. You could, you could sure could do pastel colors. Yeah, there's a lot of people that probably would like that, right? Pastel colors. Um, it, it's not my... That, that would not be my style, but it would be kind of cute. Um, are you invisible? Hi, Tony. Are you invisible? Um, how are you, Tony? I can see you. I can see you there. Yeah. I, I, I skipped over you. Sorry. <laughs> you're not invisible. Look. Look. Now you're up right there. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm invisible. Let me let me put myself in the corner. Um, sorry, I was trying to focus. I was trying to focus on getting everything ready. You are not invisible. You are always here, my friend. Okay, so let's start painting. And I want to be careful. I don't want to be globby with the colors. I'll start with red. Um, I'm going to do the big one, red. So I'm using a lizard and crimson. It's kind of a kind of a darkish. Um, it's a, it's a different red. Okay, so I don't want to be globby with it. <laughs> All right, so there's the top part actually doesn't have, does not have it. So I started up there though, so I can draw all this color down. How's everybody doing? What what is your your weekend look at like? So tell me your weekend plans. Anybody have anything fun? Jenny's going up to her cabin in Julian. How fun is that? I love Julian. I haven't been there in a while. I used to go up there and I love to go through all the antique stores, of course, because, you know, they're very famous for that. Do they still have a lot of antique stores or have most of them closed? I used to have friends that actually sold my product in their little booth at, at the... There's There used to be a, like a craft booth area up there that people could sell their, could sell their um, crafts out. Their one. <laughs> my, my paper towels just went rolling. 
Um, yeah, the, like a consignment type mall. There used to be one there. And my friends used to sell their stuff there. Okay, next color is True Okra. And it doesn't matter which one. I know I've lost my thing. There we go. <laughs> True Okra. Okay. And our stars will also be that color. Oh, our heart, our heart is red. Okay, so that's Alizarin Crimson. Okay. And then my husband's getting up. He's probably like, why isn't she done yet? <laughs> so this is True Okra. You can use any color. So so this is the same color as, um, the, there used to be a yellow this color way back when. Let's see, what was it called? I, I feel like they just bring things back and they just change the name and it's just slightly different color. But um, antique gold. So, so antique gold used to be the color that I would use. And I used to use deep burgundy. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm gonna use aloe. All right, oh and yellow for the stars. So this one actually paints up really quickly. Good thing, since I'm late. <laughs> You're doing a craft show there tomorrow. Oh, you are, how fun is that? Antique store is still there. Um, you don't think many, um, don't think many closed on Oh, that's awesome. I need to go up there sometime. Um, Sarah loading her car for a vendor show this afternoon. How fun is that? Um, and Deb, do, is your show this weekend or is it next weekend? Stephanie says has no weekend plans other than laundry. I did my laundry yesterday. I had to get I had to get done yesterday. Um, good morning, Stephanie. Trying to decorate for you try to decorate for all major holidays, but do patriotic from Memorial to Labor Day. Yes, yes. Um, that's you know a lot of people do. A lot of people have a section in their house that is patriotic. Um, yeah, definitely patriotic Americana, kind of different. Absolutely, it's hard to see everyone. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> You're so funny. And uh, Tony says, have to watch replay um, for a baby needs to go outside. Oh, yes. my Mine have to go out immediately. Immediately, as soon as I get up, they have to go out. And usually, I'm like, no, I have to go first. <laughs> Anybody else like that? I'm like, I need to go first, and then you're second. Sometimes I just have to wait. for They have to wait. Because <laughs> I can't wait sometimes. It's like, it's very urgent for me to get up and be the first to the restroom. You puppies have to wait. <laughs> so this is aloe. So we have aloe, true okra, and a lizard and crimson. Okay, and our, our roofs are all gonna be black. Charcoal would be a good color too. If you didn't wanna do black, you could do charcoal. Oops, that should be enough for all of them. Getting ready to put more stuff in your booth. Oh, awesome, where's your booth at, Teresa? Is it a consignment shop type thing? I used to be in several of them. I, I'm just not I'm not good with keeping up with it. And I just, I would barely make my booth be because, because I wasn't good keeping up with it. There was only one time that I really did good and it, it usually was the seasonal store. So at our local mall, they would have a seasonal um, store that was just part time. So it, it came in about in October and ran till right before, right before Christmas. Okay, doors are black also, okay. And then all the windows are brown. Aren't they just so cute? These are adorable. Cannot wait to see them all put together. They will, I will need to put second coats. I think that green is okay, but I do need to put, definitely need to put a, another coat on the red because red is not, it's not really good. Um, oh yes, okay, perfect. Okay, now this this brown may, may not be the best choice. I'm gonna actually tap onto a paper towel because I don't want a lot on here. I just want it to kind of look like it's stained. So first vendor event is tomorrow. Puppy heard his back a couple of days ago. Oh my goodness. Ah, I hope he's better too. Have him lie on a, like a, a rice bag or something. You can make one. Um, my friend, my friend sells them, that those rice bags that you put in the microwave, um, the moist heat does wonders. Okay. Um, they just opened up in February. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, usually on, on places like that, um, you really have to work hard at it, making sure you're always bringing in stuff. And it never worked for me to be far away because I just couldn't do it. I was actually in some that were all over the U.S. It was a big thing. And you mailed your product and they put it out. But then I never knew if they really put it out. And I never made a lot of money. And I just, I just was never good at stocking them. Except for 
at Christmas when I personalized ornaments. Okay, so there is a little store at Parkway Plaza, which is a big mall close to me in El Cajon. And it's, it's not called that anymore. It's called something else. Um, see how I, I'm getting most of that off of there and just barely putting it on there to make it look like it's stained. Okay, so I did ornaments, and that was back when I first started doing personalized ornaments 39 years ago. Yeah, I'm old. I turned 60 this year, guys, and I'm going to celebrate it. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate it. My, I don't usually celebrate my birthday, but I'm going to celebrate turning 60. And guess what? It's going to be um, right before Chalk Con. It's going to be during my craft show. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a big big celebration for me um okay so let's do a little bit more on the red we need to do a second coat on the red and just because it's not really um solid so anyways i used to sell at the mall and i would make a hundred of each ornament i had five ornaments i make you guys most of you know the story i would go home my kids were tiny back then my daughter's 40 so yeah my kids my kids were little okay so no my daughter's older than that Anyways, anyways, uh, my, ki my kids were small when I was doing the ornaments. So I'd make a hundred of each ornament and I would go to the mall. I had five different ornaments. So I had 500 every weekend and I would personalize. And sometimes I'd go in Friday night to start, but mainly it was Saturday all day, Sunday all day, and then I was done. And... I would, I would sell out. I would sell out. I would also personalize ornaments that were in the store. So I didn't, I didn't like doing that. I didn't like when they bring me an ornament from the store because I wasn't making money. Um, but I didn't mind sitting there all day, like all day from when they first opened till, till late at night and barely taking a bathroom break from personalizing. So yeah, that was my money. But that was back when Initially, they charged 40% commission, and then it went up to 50% commission. And I had to raise my prices a little bit, so I just adjusted my prices. And people gladly paid it. I'm just going to put a second coat on here. Make sure it's completely covered. It looks good. It looks good, though. Yeah. Okay, and let's dry. And then we can assemble. This one's really quick, but the glue... Ugh, I got itchy nose. The gluing process is the longest. So I'm going to try a different little technique with those windows. I'm going to try tapping them into the glue. Um, your cousin's son had his brain surgery yesterday. Oh, guys, I don't know why my nose is. Everything went well in his plan. He's still in the ICU. They did find another issue with him that he might need more surgery on his stomach. Oh, gosh, that's so hard. That's so hard. We all need to celebrate your birthday. Yes, yes, because, you know, we're all getting older. So let's let's just celebrate. We'll, we will. We'll do like a celebration or something. Um, so, Laura, we're going to keep him in our prayers, for sure. Um, let me see. Jenny says it's called Westfield Mall. You know, I haven't been there for a while, and I know that the Walmart there closed, which is crazy. It's crazy that Walmart would close any stores. Um, Cheryl, best friend from junior high, is a exchange student for Denmark and is visiting, so we'll see her inside. Oh, that's awesome! How fun is that? That is awesome. I love that. Laura, yes, I mean, we are, we are definitely praying for him that everything will go well and that he won't have to have more surgeries. That is the toughest thing. Gosh. Okay, I am going to ink the edges on these. Okay, so the windows I don't want to do anything else with because I just want them to be this way. Let's just get everything off of here and we're going to ink the edges on the houses and the stars and heart. And then we'll get started gluing everything together. Yeah, the glue process um, is the longest part of this whole project, I think. Okay, all those little windows. And here we have the doors. We have um, two stars and one heart. And then here's our houses. Make sure that they're not... <laughs> make sure I don't have paint on the back side and set them on top of each other. Because that would just totally be the way that I would do there's all the roofs. Okay, got everything off. Good thing it's a short project today, right? Okay, let's ink these. So I like to use this ink right here. If you, okay, shit, making sure those aren't, <laughs> aren't wet. Okay, if you haven't used it before, this is the brand I use, Memento Lux. I go on um, Amazon. 
Okay, so I go on Amazon and do it. I only need to ink the bottom part of this. Okay, you can sand it, you can distress it, you can do however much you want to do. I'm just inking the edges because that's my style and my customers actually like that. So, all the edges. I like this. I like these colors together. They're different. You can do any colors you want. I mean, honestly, you could you could let your kiddos do some. That would be fun. Let them do some little houses. Your your grandkids. Let them choose their favorite colors. And like I said, I'm going to add the option to have the votives, but it's going to cost more for shipping. I if you have a whole bunch anyways, it's fine. But if you if you're just wanting to to order these, they ship flat, and that and they're really easy flat. Okay, so let's put the roofs on first. So let's figure out what goes with what, where what goes where, and okay. So obviously, the heart is not going to go on the red one because you don't put red with red. Um, uh, and okay, so it's going to have to go here because the star. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's how it has to be. Okay, because you don't want the yellow on the yellow and you don't want the red on the red. So there's how that's going to go. Okay. So let's just start gluing. And then we have lots of windows to do. Lots of windows. So look how cute these are. These are gonna be adorable, guys. I'm gonna love these. Now it's gonna be hard to lift them up and show you because the glue doesn't dry really fast, but I will figure it out. We'll figure it out. I should have had another project in between. <laughs> I do have the tear tray coming up and it's super cute. I cut it last night and also the shaker shelf. Oh my goodness. It's adorable. The shaker shelf is really, really super cute, but there's a lot of pieces. So I have to explain that one guys. So I'll pre-paint and then we'll just assemble because the painting part, you have to paint both sides on, on most of this stuff, on a lot of this stuff. You have to paint both sides on the shaker shelf because it's going to show on the outside. So not most of, some of it, some of it's going to show. So you want to make sure that you paint the certain, certain ones on both sides. So don't, don't work on your shaker shelf yet. Wait till I help you with that because you're probably not going to figure it out. It's a little tricky. I'll tell you. I've watched the video, so I kind of know. Okay. So there's all that. Now we're going to do our little things. Let's try a different method. Let's try tapping them into glue on a paper towel and let's see how that works. Can you have the link to buy them? Um, yes. Yes. To buy this. Yes, definitely. Let me do that for you right now. Um, to buy, to buy these, not, not the ink, right? To buy the houses. I think that's what you meant. Um, yes, absolutely. Let me find it. It's actually this section. I have it in, in primitive um something <laughs> where's the section come on it has its own little section primitive home collection and then here's the houses they're so cute <laughs> so and it's not that expensive it's $12.75 for all three houses but I haven't added the votives but you can get your own votives okay so the votives um you can get at store I haven't added that in as an option yet. I just thought about it last night. I'm like, I should make that an option. But right now, it's not an option. It's just, um, here we go. Here's the link. If you want to buy these cute little houses. Aren't they so cute? There you go. Okay, perfect. All right, it should show up. Did it show up? That's weird. Um, maybe not. There it is. Okay, I see it now. <laughs> Okay, let's try a different method. Let's try putting some glue on here and tapping our tapping our little um, windows onto the glue. Okay, so I'm just going to try something different. All right, so I'm just going to kind of spread that out. I don't know if it's going to work, but I just had this idea. I had this idea that I would try something different because because there's so many windows, <laughs> and I and I really can't see. Um, so just tap and then, all right, so hopefully, and then they just go around the window. That, I think it's going to work. Okay. I might have to add more. So I'm just tapping it into the glue and then onto there to get a little bit off. Yeah, I think it's going to work. <laughs> and then just make sure that they're lined up. 
All right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of these suckers. <laughs> a lot of these windows, guys. Well, happy Friday, guys. Sorry I'm all later. You know, some, sometimes you just got to sleep, you know? Um, and if you're just hopping on, I'm late because I'm heading up to my cabin um, around noon and I needed to get a little bit extra rest so I don't fall asleep when I'm driving. So I just decided that I would go back to sleep for a little bit. For a little bit. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. Now, just make sure your windows aren't crooked. Because once it sets up, it sets up. <laughs> Try using the little dabber um, sponge. Yeah, a sponge would be good, huh? Um, let me see if I can do that. I think I have some sponges in here. Do I have some? Let me see. That's a, um, I, I don't know if I do. But I can look really quick and see. I could probably use one of the um, paintbrushes. Oh, there's, a, there's one of the sponges. Okay, so here's the makeup sponge. Let's tr let's try a makeup sponge. Um, you'll wait for the candles. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll add them in after this. Okay, so here's a makeup sponge. Let's try that. Um, these are those little makeup sponges. Um, I have seen people using those. Okay, yeah, that that is working. That might be our new way to do it. <laughs> Jenny, thank you. I've seen people doing that, and I just I didn't remember. Okay, so dabbing dabbing it on with a little makeup sponge. These are those little triangle sponges. Some people paint with these. There's a, there's a lot of people that paint with these these little sponges, the little triangle sponges. It definitely works. Just get a little bit on there, and we'll be done before you know it. Before you know it, <laughs> we'll be done. All right. Oh my goodness, guys. Does everybody have their taxes done or is that your anybody's weekend project? I'm glad, normally, normally guys, I'm waiting till the last minute and my taxes would be finished up this weekend. But instead, I actually was responsible. <laughs> I'm not saying that anybody isn't if they're not there, but I'm usually irresponsible and wait till the last minute because I don't wanna pay in. And I actually, my husband pays in a ton, so. Um, he pays an extra throughout the year to kind of make up for what I'm going to owe on my personal, on my business. So <laughs> I got done last weekend and I was so excited to be getting a little bit of money back. I don't want to get a ton back because then that tells me that I loaned it to the government all year. Um, okay, there we go. And I don't want to, I don't want to be loaning them money. <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, I'm getting a little bit back, um, to, and that makes me happy. I, I would rather just barely either break even or get a little bit back than get a big, huge refund because then I know that, hey, I could have adjusted my, my withholding and had that all year and not struggled, you know? So anyways, I'm so excited that I'm not spending my, my weekend before April 15th doing taxes because that has been what I've done for years for years I'm always struggling like last minute last year we actually had an extension because of all of our flooding that we had and this year some of the areas um, they qualified but you had to prove that you actually had flooding so my friend said not everybody gets the extension so she made sure that us crafters she's a CPA and she said she made sure us crafters knew that not everybody qualifies for that. You have to prove that you were in a flood area and were affected because I think because they de everybody delayed every last year in San Diego is like woohoo, I'm gonna or maybe it was all of California. It's like we're gonna take it. We're gonna take that that exemption or that I'm sorry extension, extension. Okay, yeah, this is working really well. I like this idea. So these little these are little makeup sponges. Um, you can get them at CVS. You can get them Walmart. Um, I, I get mine online, but I don't really use them to paint very often. I don't know why. I just don't. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, that's working wonderful. And I didn't have too many oopsies. Okay, let me make sure that let me get all my things straight that I need to fix because I have a couple that are off. Okay, I don't, I guess I have to cut the end off of that. Let me look at them over the Top. Oh, they look really cute. They look really good. They look fabulous. <laughs> that heart needs to be straightened. There we go. All right. 
What do you think, guys? I think they're super cute. I love that. I love these. These are fun. Okay, so this is the backer part. If you want to paint the paint that, you absolutely can. I mean, here's an idea. Let's just let's just paint it with brown. Let's just paint the top part with brown really quick. We can do that. Is this our brown paint brush? So, and then I'll just dry it. So that can kind of be setting up while I'm doing this. Let's just paint the top part brown. And then we'll be done. And then the little the little candle goes right inside there. So I will add the candles. If you're local, you can always pick up. Some people wait until like I have I have one person, Valerie, that picks up when she comes to see her kiddos over here. And so she comes, you know, once a month at least. And so she she waits to pick up till then. You can always do that. Cindy's close, so she picks up several times a week. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm teasing you. <laughs> you probably have every kit that I've made in the last year. Okay, there's that. So now we're going to glue it together, but let's dry it really fast. Aren't they just so cute? Oh, I need to ink the edges on those. I need to ink the edges. These are so fun. And if you want to paint the back of your houses, you absolutely can. Just paint them a, a solid color. Make sure it's dry before you ink it. Make sure it's dry. You're forever learning. <laughs> I'm learning from other people. Um, you know, we we I it is not too late to teach me something. You can always teach an old dog new tricks. So I'm always open to trying things. I, I, I don't say, oh no, I won't do that. I'm always open to trying new things because if it can help speed up the process, yes, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, there's that. So cute. Oh my goodness, she does have them all. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's let's glue this. We're gonna use our hot glue to help it um, glue together. So they're all the same size on the back, and those those windows dried really quickly. So this is just gonna go right on the back of each one. I keep knocking over paint. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, guys, is we will put some hot glue and some um some regular glue okay so we're gonna put them on the back okay let's put this one here they are all the same size but this this one actually is a little bit misaligned but it's okay it's all right we're not gonna cry not gonna sweat the small stuff and we always say it's all small stuff right <laughs> it is all small stuff guys i love these houses i need i need two dozen of them for my craft show <laughs> I need to have a little house making party. They actually painted up really quickly. Once you know, once you know all the tricks and what to do, they they painted up really quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna just press that down and hold that. Don't stick your finger in that hot glue. <laughs> I did that the other day, and I'm like, well, that was really stupid, darling. Okay, so it's just gonna sit up like that and then the candle's gonna sit right right in there. Okay, so that's how it's gonna go. Do you see how that is? Okay, gonna do all these. Now, just be careful because you don't want the glue to show through the that bottom window there. So what I will do, I'm actually gonna put the glue onto the house itself, okay? So, so I don't want it to go through the windows. So I'm gonna be really careful about that. Let's see how far it goes. Because that one, the windows are a little bit lower. So just be cautious on that one. And then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right in the center. So the hot glue just grabs it and you're able to have it stay right away. And then just make sure it's lined up. Okay. And I'm just holding it for a second while that, while that cools. Okay. My nose is like, okay, so let me make sure. And I might run a little bead of glue right there just to help hold that. I think I will um, because you really aren't going to see the back, but I'm just thinking I want to run a, a little bead of glue right here. You're not going to see it because the candle is going to be there. Okay, so that's just going to kind of help secure that. I'm going to do the same over here. It's going to run a little bit of glue right along that area there. Okay. And that's just going to reinforce that. Okay. Last one. 
All right, this one doesn't have any windows at the bottom. Um, you still want to be careful. Okay, there's that. I hear hubby's up making his breakfast. <laughs> He's probably like, why is she still going so late? No, because I started late. 8.15. I'm supposed to be logged into work. I'll go log in in a minute. I have a little bit of work to do today. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and this is going to go right on here. Yeah, it's been a it's been a hard week with all the paperwork. It's a paperwork week for sure. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then that's gonna go like that, and then I'm going to reinforce that with a little bead of glue along there. So all I do is I just run a little bit of glue where it joins together. And that just helps to keep it so that it's going to stay. It, it just is like a secondary reinforcement. You could use regular glue. I've used regular glue before too. Okay. And then our houses are ready for me to show you. Let me move all my paintbrushes because they're in the way. And I'm ready to show you all of these little cute houses. I'm going to turn on the lights. I'm going to turn on the lights and then I'm going to put you up to the house. And you'll be able to see how cute they are. I wish I could turn out the, the lights to show you. But they, they look really cute. Okay. All right. There we go. Look at look how Look how sweet they are. They're super sweet. Oh, you can see that. You can see the, the lights behind them. Yeah. In the windows. <laughs> I love it. I need a whole bunch of these in different colors. All different colors. Oh, my hair is so lovely today. So lovely. <laughs> All right, guys. That is our little project. We'll put the big one in the middle. And they'd be cute right next to each other. Super cute right next to each other, just like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Okay, let me just... Scooch it back a little bit so that it's easier to see. And I knock something off. I always do. It's a paintbrush that's not used. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Have a wonderful Friday. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and putting up with me. It's my favorite time of day. I'm going to go in and get my work done and then head up to the cabin for just a couple of days. All right. Bye, guys. I love you.